Hi everyone, it's Rena. I have a project share for you today and they are Halloween loaded envelopes. Um, I love making loaded envelopes and using them as reverse mini albums and adding tags and journaling spots and pictures. Um, I think that they are so fun and you can actually include a ton of different pictures in there um, because you can add so many different tags and envelopes and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but today's project share is really all about Halloween. I have um, a bunch of nieces and nephews and so I like to mail them things and so I have created these loaded envelopes um, for the Halloween theme just for them. Um, they're pretty stuffed already and I haven't even added any of the candy or the cookies or any of the other um, yummy stuff that I plan to add. Um, I will have a, a tiny mini tutorial at the very end. Um, if you have questions or you need more help, please feel free to let me know. Thanks! Okay, so here is my project share. I made Halloween loaded envelopes and I have a few nieces and nephews so I made one for each of them. So I'll kind of quickly show you how they all look on the outside and then I will um, open one and show you how that looks. So this is the first one with the two little pumpkins and then this one says do not enter. This one says spooky. And if you'll notice, some of the pocket sizes are a little different right here, but pretty much they're all the same. This is a little Frankenstein. This one has um, a little pumpkin and it says number one Boo Crew. This is probably one of my favorites. This says, if the hat fits, wear it. It's a little witch theme. And then this one says candy. And this last one that I have here, um, you'll notice is not as stuffed. And actually, I'm going to list this one in my Etsy shop. Okay, so for the flip, the loaded envelopes, I actually, they're not flip books. They're loaded envelopes. So what I did is I created a little pocket right here in the front. I um, added this little um, uh, picture that says if the hat, hat fits, wear it. And each of them have their own little picture. The paper I used, I used some simple story paper, Halloween paper. I also used some digital paper I got in the sill store. And then I also used um, paper that I got from the Hungry JPEG. So I used a variety of different papers. Um, I created these little um, embellished paper clips. Um, the little felt um, hat or ghost in some case or little bats. I got these at um, a, a local craft store here. Then I created these little rosettes out of cupcake liners. Um, I added some little vampire fangs, a little book of stickers. This little paper clip is actually holding some Halloween tattoos back here, some temporary tattoos. Um, I added this little witch right here in the back. I take this out. Oh, I added some little crinkle in here as well. I added this little witch in the back from the Sill store and I shimmered her up with some homemade Wink Estella. And then I added these little um, flat back um, pearl washi tape and take this out. Then I also created these rosettes right here. And then I have a little tag in the back that says Happy Halloween. And I'm going to write my little message there. And then I have these little um, paper glasses and then I added a little silly straw and lastly I added a little Frankenstein bag so it doesn't even have any goodies in it yet and it's already kind of full and then I added paper on the back of all of them so the way you make these are pretty simple you can get any type of bag that you find whether it's um, a lunch bag or um, a, a goodie bag that you find at 
Michaels or Hobby Lobby or wherever. I actually made mine with these six by nine mailing envelopes. And so what I did was I glued this part down. I just kind of folded it in here. Um, and then I took black paint and I painted all around the edges. And then I decided I wanted um, to cut this piece off. So that way, like on this one, you'll see it's got a, the front pockets a little lower. So all I did, and I didn't even measure, I figured, well, it's Halloween, it can, and it can look kind of crooked. I just cut out right here, this whole little section. Um, and then I made sure to ink up those edges as well. And then I added a layer of black cardstock and you can see that here, here's my black cardstock. And then I added a layer of designer paper on top of that. And that created the base of my um, envelope. For my pocket, the reason they're all different sizes is because I used scrap um, black paper that I had from leftover projects. And the same way that I showed you how to create the pocket on your um, mini wallet is the exact same way I created the wallet here. All I did was I measured my sizes and I measured how big I wanted it to be from here to here. And then I added half an inch on three sides. And then I um, scored, mitered, folded, and created my little pocket. So you can create the pocket as big or as little as you want using that same technique. And then you could have also added a pocket here on the back, one here, one here, how many every pockets you wanna create. You could have even added a pocket here. And I've actually done that in the past when I've made it, when I've made loaded envelopes as reverse mini albums. Um, but that was basically all I did for my base structure. Um, this cray paper, I don't, this is a, a quick tip. I don't know if you know how to make this or not, but you just take regular cray paper and you can sew it in your sewing machine and make it ruffle like this. And then if you want, you can use it to make um, rosettes or you can use it like I did, like trim. And to make this on your sewing machine, you just take regular rolls of cray paper. I normally like to stick a little pencil in there so that it holds for me while I'm sewing it. And you um, change your tension to the highest tension you have. On my sewing machine, that's a nine. So I just change my tension to nine and then I just run it through with a regular um, straight stitch and it comes out really curly like this. So that's just kind of a helpful tip if you had never done that before. Um, the only other thing I forgot to point out here is this giant spider. I got this at the dollar bin and it, at um, Target and I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do with them, but it's super glittery and I thought that that added some extra height to my bags and so I thought that came out pretty cute. Um, basically, that's it. That's how I made my, my loaded Halloween bags. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.